all receptacles within blank feet of a pool or spa must be GFCI protected? The correct answer is 20 feet. We're going to use our keyword and index process to find this answer. What are we talking about here? What are you wiring if you were setting in front of it? We're talking about receptacles, aren't we? So we head to R in the index. When we get to R, we're going to see if there are some other keywords under its subheading. We're going to look for maybe pool, spa, maybe even GFCI protection. When we look for pools, we don't find it, but we do find swimming pools, and it has several code articles listed. The first one it sends us to is 680.21C, depending on what code cycle you're in. When we get there, we read the black bold heading, and sure enough, it's, it's talking about GFCI protection. But when we quickly scan through the paragraph, it's not what we're looking for. But I feel like we're in the right section of the codebook. So now we're going to start looking at the black bold headings to see if we can pull out some of our other keywords. And we look, black bold heading, no, no, circulation systems, other receptacles, there's a keyword. And then the next one, sure enough, in a black bold heading is GFCI protection. Now we take the time to invest and read the paragraph. When we look down through there, we find, sure enough, 20 feet is the required distance that it's required to be. All receptacles within 20 feet of the pool or spa must be GFCI protected. I do want to note that this does not negate all of the requirements that are in 210.8A and B. Those are going to be your overall requirements for GFCI protection. So this is in addition to that. Not only if... 210.8 A or B doesn't catch you for GFCI protection. You're also required to do it within 20 foot of the pool or spa. Let's get to it.